Today I want to talk about the client relationship. In my business, it's all about people. It's about how people share their natural gifts, how they gain understanding about themselves in the business world. So my passion is to help men and women alike to understand sometimes the wrong conversations that they're having with themselves and with other people. So how do we work with clients? How do we, if you like, attract the right clients? And I think this is really important. I remember many, many years ago, somebody sharing that with me. And it was, it was like, you know, he said, when you go for an interview, you desperately want the job. You think that it's all about the interviewer. But actually, as an interviewee, you are interviewing for your own happiness. And it's the same when you're a consultant and you're looking to attract people who are willing and open-minded, but maybe not sure how the future can unfold. And that's my role, my purpose, and my consideration when I'm looking for clients. And what do I mean by this? It's knowing that I can work with somebody, that they can work with me, that there is a relationship, even at the beginning it's unknown, it's just an instinctive awareness. Because what happens if you do not tune in to the client? The client feels ill at ease. They feel they're behind the game. They don't know quite how to take on board what you are sharing. Because in my line of work, I'm encouraging people to be more of themselves. And this is not something that you can teach by rote, that you place on people, that you demand people to do things, no. So my work is about sharing, observing, facilitating, inspiring, encouraging. But at the end of the day, it's the client and their teams who will make the difference to themselves. So does that sound like I'm doing myself out of a job? No. My gift is to be able to share from my own experiences in what I call a magical conversation way in that I don't judge people, I don't get angry, I don't critique. What I do is I observe with permission what's going on and make adjustments available. So for instance, with my one of my core tools, which is the Crawford Gender Dynamics Map, it's a map which helps men and women to understand in the first place who they are. And there's a a trick in there which is our physicality gives away what our behavior patterns are going to be. So on the gender dynamics map there's a way of understanding where you are located and therefore how you assess and locate everybody else in every meeting in every situation. And of course it can apply, apply to your home life but my focus is how does it improve your business? What are the difficult conversations that you're having? And what are the awkward moments when you just don't feel that you can share who you are and somehow you get behind in everything? We've all got our individual natural traits and that's what the, we are seeking to bring out. So going back to the idea of being in a relationship with your client, certainly in my work as a performance consultant, we have to tune into each other. We have to know that there's an opening up of information and awareness and potential actions that can be taken to change your life, your outcome, your result. And that's what it's all about. So I've got a special offer to you if you're having a difficult conversation with anybody or you're just not getting that conversation with the boss about your next raise or your next um, position or you've got a colleague who just you don't seem to be able to tune into. Now you don't need any of those people in the room with you when you come to my Zoom offer, to my session. Because I will share with you a map which will help you resolve all of those difficulties if you're willing to take on the actions necessary. No demands, it's always your choice. So I look forward to seeing you. I'll put the link in this post. And let's try and make the world a harmonious, successful rewarding, productive, creative space for you. Have a good day.